It's Shanae Agumake in the house, ready to talk about the women's bracket. And we'll start with those Iowa Hawkeyes and yep. Caitlin Clark here. Six and a half point favorite. So do you see Clark and the Hawkeyes winning big? Or do you think Colorado can keep this close or win outright? I think they'll win big. Okay. Okay, because this is the most high-powered offense that technically we've seen in the field that is remaining. The wild thing is Caitlin Clark gives you 32 points a game. Mm. That's a third of the overall Iowa output. They average 92 a game. Those are like NBA, WNBA <laughs> right. numbers. Colorado is a team that can, you know, win, and we've seen throughout the tournament, nitty gritty. You know, they'll try to make it a slugfest. They don't need too many points, but they're going up against a historic amount of points, not only individually from Caitlin Clark, but also collectively. Oh, wait, oh, I, I think so, you made someone big mad. Uh -oh. what I think called? you made someone mad. Uh -oh. What is going on? I thought he was I out. I the soap for five minutes. And I thought he was, was out. Listen, oh, yeah. I'm your favorite analyst. <laughs> favorite analyst. <laughs> It's okay, Jay. It's all studio. love over here. No, but for real, we love no, tonight. We uh, no, Caitlin Clark, let's talk about her specific point prop sitting at 33 and a half. Do you, if you like Iowa, you like her to go over, right? I know what your face is because last time I sat with you, I was wrong. <laughs> uh, I think it's going to be under. Okay. And I think because, listen to this stat, Iowa, they are 18 and 1 when she gets 10 or more assists when she passes. For them to win, her team has to overall be successful. Okay. She is someone that leads the field in points per game. We all know that, that's certified, mm -hmm. that's that's golden. But she also leads the field in assists per game out of any player. And so I think she will want to pass to make her teammates step up because she will need them, especially potentially in an Elite Eight matchup versus LSU, where they have a lot of post players that need to feel confident. She accounts for 56% of Iowa's offense from scoring and assisting, and I think she's going to rely on the assists to build confidence in her teammates. All right, let's talk about the UConn Lady Huskies. Eight and a half point favorite against Duke in their matchup. Again, same question as Iowa. Do you see them winning big, yes. or can Duke keep this close? I see them winning big, okay. and this is very big of me being a Stanford <laughs> player who lost her final game in March Madness <laughs> in the Final Four to the Huskies. But I love the squad, and I love their dynamic duo. Yeah. Paige Beckers, Aaliyah Edwards, they are great. They're playing their best version of basketball. Coach Gino Ariama said it. He believes he has the best player. That's no knock on Caitlin. This is her coach, yeah, right? Yeah, of course. But She's going to say Dawn that. also Don Staley said it too, that Paige is just different. She's doing it from three levels. She's, she's rebounding, she's assisting, and she's scoring, I think it's five straight 25-point games. And then you've got a WNBA certified player yep. in Aaliyah Edwards as well, who declared for the draft, but has some business to attend to first. So I've got the Huskies trending at the right moment in March. Yeah, those men looking good. Those ladies looking oh. good behind Becker as well. Well, all right, we're going to play a game of better bet here on okay. ESPN Bet Live. Angel Reese and the three seed LSU Tigers, a three and a half point favorite today against two seed UCLA in their Sweet 16 matchup. Meanwhile, Juju Watkins, outstanding freshman, and the top seed USC Trojans, also a three and a half point favorite against five seed Baylor in their Sweet 16 matchup. So, Shanae, who is the better bet to win by four points or more, LSU or USC? USC. That LSU-UCLA game is going to be tough. Okay. It is going to be a very difficult matchup. A lot of people talk about Angel Reese and Anissa Morrow. They're going up in the paint against Lauren Beck, who is 6'7", who is UCLA's leading scorer and rebounder, and they have a backcourt with Kiki Rice and also Charisma Osborne. So that is a loaded squad coached by Coach Corey Close. Now, we know LSU handles the spotlight very well, but I see that matchup being closer than Juju Watkins, who got a favorable you know, outlook considering mm -hmm. that USC is a one seed going up against the Baylor team where she has the side advantage. So, I, I mean, I had that LSU-UCLA circle. I was like, okay. ooh, when the bracket was made, I was like, this is spicy. This is why we love her. This is why we have her on the show. You're also going to give Jay Will buckets when you back him down All the day, paint, right? All day, every day. <laughs> you don't want to smoke? <laughs> Your favorite analyst. Favorite, favorite analyst. analyst. <laughs> Shanae Agumake, thanks for joining us on ESPN Bet Live.